Yo, my name is Julian Melnick, and welcome back, players. We are console gamers. Yep, we are button mashers and joystick thrashers. Let's get after what Nintendo presented today. They had an indie world, and there are five games that I am really excited for. So rather than going through the whole indie world, because there's a bunch of games to cover, it's going to take me longer to go over it than the presentation itself, I'm going to give you my five picks that I think you should look into and get with me so we can play them and experience this joy together. Not all of them are coming out right now. In fact, only one's coming out today, but I think that these games are worth your while. If you have watched it, go ahead and let me know in the comments what games you're excited for. And uh, let's get right into it with pick number one, which is coming out today. And I'm going to get it today. And that is The Longing. You're this little shadow character. I mean, he's in all black. And you're basically the servant of a king that you're waiting to wake up. And you're waiting for 400 days. 400 real-time days. That means you're doing things in this game for the over the course of 400 real time. Like the seconds tick with real seconds. You can do whatever from, I guess, picking crystals to walking and exploring. This whole game looks like it's been hand-drawn. It's beautiful. It's interesting. It's weird. It's creepy. And I have to play it. I'd love to know if you're going to play it too and what you do over the course of these 400 days. That's an investment. That's over a year of playing a game just to play it to find out what happens at the end. Game number two is Ollie Ollie World, which is a side scrolling skate game. Basically, running around, jumping, doing different things, but there's separate quests you can do. You meet different characters. There's a bunch of silly things you can do. And I love the way it looks. I love the hardline cartoon 3D style that you get. It just looks like it's going to be a great game, a good one to pass the time, and a good one to have in handheld mode while you're playing your Switch on the go. I, it looked really fun to me. I'm really excited to play it. Game number three is Aztec, and that's A-Z-T-E-C-H, Forgotten Gods. You're basically this hero, this, this girl who has these powers to take on gods, and you're going through old Aztec mythology. Now, I love mythology. I love Greek mythology. I love all that stuff. Now, Aztec mythology, admittedly, I know very little about, so it's going to be really interesting to go through. You're taking on the different gods in the Aztec mythology. You have this arm that you upgrade, and you do all these different things. It's a 3D game. It looks really awesome. looks like fun. I think it'll be a blast to play, and I tell you, these indie games that are coming out are super exciting, and they're not something I've usually gotten myself into, but while I'm waiting for some of these next AAA titles to come out, I'm not upset. I'm excited to play these indie games, and I hope that you are too. If you're excited for indie games like I am, I'd love to find out what games you're excited for. If the ones I'm talking about, if it's another one, tell me. Let's talk about it. Go ahead and comment below. Share this with some friends that you think might get into indie games or already play indie games. And last, if you're liking this video, hit that like. It helps me out. It's a free way to help out the channel. And we will grow and grow and grow from you doing that. Now, game number four is Skull the Hero Slayer, a 2D roguelike game where you're running around, smashing stuff, killing a bunch of things, and it feels like the classic button mashing. Just go, 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 go. You can switch out your head, which ends up switching your character up. There's like 90 different interchangeable heads, and you are smashing, thrashing, having a grand old time destroying things progressing through the story, progressing through the level, and it looks awesome. It's that classic old school look, and I cannot wait to play it. I've played a few games that look similar to it, not by the same developers, but I love these types of games. They're a lot of fun to play, and I think it'll be worth your while as well. Now, the last game I've saved for last because it is so good, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. Guys, it is a classic TMNT. It looks like there's a four player multiplayer mode, which is like the classic most awesome feeling. You're going around, you could be all four of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, just shredding through the city, smashing stuff, having a grand old time. Guys, I'm blown away. I, I literally was like giddy when I saw this. I haven't played a TMNT game in a really long time because they don't really exist. And I don't even know why I'm so excited, but I am so excited. And I cannot wait to play this with my friends. These, This game is, oh, it just, it brings back so many awesome memories of watching the cartoon when I was a kid. And I just, I'm glad that they're doing it. I'm super excited. Are you excited? You should be excited. Now, this is it, guys. Those are the top five picks I have for this indie world. Uh, you guys should go and watch the indie world. It's super rad. Uh, there's a bunch of different things that are coming out. There's a really a lot of games coming out which can hold us over to see what's coming down the pike for that Zelda 35th that we're going to be uh, hopefully experiencing. Now, guys, 
This is the most important part. And you know what's exciting is that Indie World said it at the end too. And that is, and you know what I'm gonna say, happy gaming.